Welcome to Ask the Doulas with the Maya's Nest Birth Services. Today we're fielding a great question from Christina. She posted, hey ladies, I had planned a home birth with my first pregnancy, but it ended in a C-section. I'd love to have a natural birth second time around, but I'm afraid that my body will fail me again. Are vaginal births after C-section even safe? How successful are they? Any other insight you have would be good to hear too. So speaking today to be back after one cesarean without other complications, there are actually some safety advantages in having a VBAC, such as no surgery risks, uh, like damage to bladder or uterus, shorter recovery times, less chance of infection, stuff like that. Um, the big risk, of course, that's forefront in most of our minds is uterine rupture along your incision. Um, the estimated risk for that is 50 and 10,000, or that you have about a 9,950 out of 10,000 chance that uterine rupture won't happen along your scar. Staying clear of interventions, in particular induction with oxytocin, can also make it safer and lower those odds further. So how successful are they? Good news, 75 to 80% success rate, according to a study compiled by the Mayo Clinic, which is just about the same chances as anyone else delivering in most North American hospitals today. So let's move to the top three Maya's Nest tips for VBAC. Number one is make sure that you choose a caregiver that is supportive of VBAC and uses supportive language around it. Like, I think you can do this. Let's do everything we can to make it happen versus we'll see, or I'll give it a bit of a chance, or don't get your hopes up, etc. So go with supportive. Number two, get well informed about VBAC and make a strategy for your birth. Your doula can help you tailor a plan for your unique situation and connect you to some great VBAC resources that will help boost your confidence about your upcoming birth. And your care provider can give you a safety checklist of things to watch for to put your mind at ease. Remember that just like each child is completely different, each labor is different too. Number three is that our minds are our most powerful ally and helping our bodies along. So prepare your mind ahead of time for a fresh experience by literally telling yourself that these things are gonna be good. And during labor, by stacking the deck for yourself with things that increase your oxytocin, like a great support team, favorite feel-good music, your favorite scents or a cozy blanket, and your handy list of positive affirmations. Thanks again, Christina, for the great question. If any of you have a birth or postpartum question, post today on the Maya's Nest Facebook page and refer to our Ask the Doula video series.